ready? Yep. This is Love and Light Hitched Up, and we're starting in three, two, one. Oh, great job. It's Love and Light Hitched Up, and we are at the Hershey RV Show checking out the Winnebago Solus. So this is a class B uh, RV, uh, no slides on this particular unit, though it does have a pop-up on the roof for additional sleeping and storage up there. So a little bit tighter, but this gives you all that flexibility to go anywhere you want to go, park pretty much in any street, anywhere, and still accomplish your mission of being out there, but not necessarily dragging around a giant RV with you. So plenty of storage in these overhead bins, very well set up again case where you have a manufacturer understanding the need to utilize every single space that they can so this appears to be some sort of bed frame setup yep so this creates a bed that cuts across the, the back side here for a sleeping area and this would be your bed. Still leaving you plenty of storage room underneath, but this would be your sleeping area. You would sleep north to south, or what is this? Yeah, uh, east-west. East-west. Well, if you're really short, you might be able to sleep north-south, but east-west. So that's your sleeping arrangement in this particular setup here. But it leaves you the flexibility of also just having an additional table. So if you're working in the kitchen, you have a work area and you have a seating area here that you can hang out and uh, work from, but without having that bed. So giving you a little bit of flexibility in the rear of your uh, unit here. And these are all maintained by latches in the back so while you're driving you don't have to worry about those things uh, popping in and out of space. You have additional storage underneath which is pretty large. goes up into the edges of the wheel well. You have storage underneath here which is everything is held in by a little bit of a bungee so you still have a pretty good amount of, of access for storage underneath there and I am going to bet dollars to donuts you have Small amount of underfloor storage in here for some of your items. Now, this floor is like a rubberized floor, and there's additional space back here, and it comes with tie downs here. So, you have these tie downs, you can move them and adjust them from spot to spot as need be, so you can adjust all your cargo storage areas. There is a roll down bug shade undoes here and connects with a zipper so you can have the back door open allow for more cross ventilation as you're going through but not having as many bugs through it's a great sink in here with an adjustable nozzle pretty decent size uh, feels like aluminum you have your uh, preheat for your eco hot for your water so you can preheat and go to normal and that would uh, speed up your overall water flow uh, and temperature control. You have nice drawers and cabinetry. Pretty big cabinetry underneath the sink here. Storage room. Pretty nice. This is going to be a slide out cutting board area. More prep and workspace because you need to take care and make sure that you maximize every square inch that you can. And a really cool um, piece here, if I can figure out how to work it, is your bath. So it is a wet bath with a Thetford, uh, the Thetford uh, cassette toilet, I'm sure, based on what I'm seeing out there. So got a rod in here that can come out for so when you're showering, you have space. So again, I'm five foot eight and I have enough clearance over my head to take a nice shower in here comfortably. Um, Vented, without a doubt. 
and you have nice access here for where you probably keep your toiletry, your toilet paper, through that little door right there. So plenty of room to sit on that, that, that spot. You have a Suburban dual uh, burner stove. This has a latch up here for travel, so you can go ahead and close that off so the door doesn't open while you're going. Check out this really cool W. I like that. Towel rack. Again, you have a uh, zip down bug screen that is attached around the edges, so it gives you the ability to have this open and let a lot of that air. These, these seats will rotate around. So this is your Nova Cold fridge. I'm gonna bet this is a 12 volt fridge. Nice freezer, it's actually a pretty decent size. I like this. I think it's a little bigger than the one we have in ours. Pretty decent size. And that is right at the door. Interesting spot to put that, but it seems like it's a smart spot. It seems like it would really work. So in this particular coach, you have seatbelt seating for four people. That's interest, important to know how many folks actually have a seatbelt to ride. So these two seats here and the two front, these front seats will also rotate around, giving you uh, a like a dinette area. There is a table stored back here or the table leg that attaches in the floor right here giving you a bit of a uh, eating area for inside eating. Also above here, this is a pop-up version. So there is an, a rooftop sleeping area. You can see in the photograph here, uh, thing, nice rooftop sleeping area. With access, there's a ladder stored up in here that attaches here. And you can climb right up into this area above. There are some vents and there's some really cool uh, features on there. Your command center. It's going to be located up in here, your Xantrex solar charge, your LP valve for your holding tank heater, uh, your Truma, which is going to give you your hot water and all that great stuff. And your, your tank monitoring here is generator start. So this comes equipped with a generator and a water pump as well. So you can pump that fresh water. Um, you have another great storage cabinet here. Overhead magnet latch to the top. Keep a decent amount of things over here. I like the fact that they add these supports in there, giving some strength, but it's not taking up a lot of that storage space, which is really cool. You have window here with the ability to keep it open and also black it out as need be if you're trying to sleep in the coach. Very simple setup. Doesn't have to be fancy to work, folks. It just has to work. So this is on a Dodge Ram chassis with that integrated top for additional sleeping. Let's go around to the mechanical side. These are those windows that you saw inside that have that zip over for privacy and, and that blacking out. Fuel filters, fill's gonna be right. This is gonna be your access point for your uh, cassette toilet. You know, key, push, pull out. It's kind of like a small traveling suitcase and you can go take that and dump that at the dump and or in pit toilet and or in any uh, sanitary dump where you can dump uh, or go to the bathroom would work. Your uh, 30 amp connection for your power. Your generator exhaust is down there. And this is the rear doors. Here you have your Nautilus connection for all of your water hookups right here. So you have the out ability to run an outside shower you have uh, all this great space back here. So in the back here, you can see this is your Nautilus types uh, hookup, where you'll be able to hook up your city water connections, your uh, outside uh, shower connections, additional storage access, as you can see. And these are a little better uh, view of those tie downs that you have if you were to secure gear back here. That would give you the ability to keep things safe. And these are those bug screens that I talked about that will cover over this access area here, keeping you bug free. And it is set up with a hitch. Not sure what the maximum vertical hitch load is 350 pounds. So that's vertical. So 3,500 pound max tow on this. That's pretty cool. The unit comes with a rear view mounted camera. Very nice. And again, that is the Winnebago Solus 
59 PX. Well, if you like this video of the Winnebago Solus, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Click that bell icon so you get a notification when our next video drops. And remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitched out.